Hey guys, so today I'm going to start the lesson by recapping the big four equation number one that you learned on Tuesday. And then I'm going to recap free fall with the lab and lesson that you did on Wednesday and Thursday. And then I'm going to explain the equation number two that you will be learning about today. So your big equation number one is very, very similar to your acceleration equation. This is your VF is equal to VI plus acceleration times the time, okay? So here's the practice problem that I have written out because you will see a lot of word problems instead of just giving you the information and the variables. Also, if you haven't seen this strategy already, it will help you guys to write down these five variables that you will see with all four equations. You have distance, or you may see height, which is the same thing, initial velocity, time, final velocity, and acceleration. And I will explain why I did this as we go through the problem. So our problem says, if a rocket-powered sled is accelerated to a speed of 444 meters per second in 1.83 seconds, then what is the acceleration? So let's look at the question and then work our way back. We are asking for acceleration. So here on the side with my variables, I'm going to put a question mark next to A because that's what we're looking for. Next piece of information they give us as we work backwards is the 1.83 seconds. The unit is seconds, and we know seconds is a measurement of time. So for T, I'm going to put 1.83 seconds, okay? We accelerated to a speed of 444. So that means our final speed is 444. We started from something, from nothing, and then we accelerated, we increased our speed to 444. So this meters per second, which is the unit for speed, this is our final speed. This is what we sped up to. And since we're talking about accelerating to a final speed of 444, then we can infer that our initial velocity, our beginning speed, is zero. How do you know it's zero? Well, when you're in the vehicle and you start it up, are you moving? No, you're not. So your initial speed is zero. And then once you start driving, you're going to increase your speed which is acceleration, we are increasing our speed to 444 meters per second. Okay. So I did this because we're going to have four equations. And later on next week, you're going to have an assignment where you guys will have to decide which of these four equations is going to be used to solve the problem. So we have the information in for each variable. We have the question mark for acceleration, but we don't have anything for distance. So that means we're not going to use no distance in our equation. So out of the four big equations, the only equation that has these four variables is equation number one. VF equals VI plus 8 times T. And what am I going to do? We're just going to substitute or replace what we have and put it in the equation. So VF is 
my initial speed, and I'm using a motorized rocket power sled. So we're starting from zero. Plus, we don't know what acceleration is. So I'm going to leave it as A times my time of 1.83. So 1.83 and my A are being multiplied together. Okay. Now we need to solve for A. Well, guess what? We have zero plus A times 1.83. Anything plus zero is going to equal itself. So we're going to take the zero out of it because we don't need it. So now we're left with 444 is equal to 1.838. I just switched it because I'm used to having my number in front of the variable. It still means the same thing. Since we are multiplying 1.83 times A, in order to get rid of it, we have to do the opposite operation. Opposite of multiplication is division. What you do to one side, you do to the other. This gives us this gives us one. And we don't put ones, so we just leave it as a. Get my handy dandy phone calculator, like a lot of you guys have as well. And I'm going to divide exactly as I see it. 444 divided by one point. A3. And feel free to check my math if I am wrong. So your acceleration is going to be 242, and I'll do two decimal places. And my units is going to be meters per second squared. Okay? So this is pretty much a recap over. Equation number one, get ready for a recap on free file.